Hello and welcome to News Up Now. I'm Gleiton Martins. My guest is a soprano and a talented musician. I met her two years ago, more or less, in San Jose, where she had an amazing show, Hear Her Song. So now her new album just coming out called Duende. My guest is Carla Canales. Hola, Carla. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm really excited to speak with you. It's been a couple years and lots has happened. What is the difference between Duende? Because you there's more performances, you're more in some way uh, more free on stage. Well, I think that um, to me, Hear Her Song is really about paying tribute to remarkable women. Um, when I conceived of that project, it was right around the time of the inauguration of the Trump administration and, of course, the Women's March that took place um, in response to that. And what I wanted to do was find a way to use my voice to respond to what was happening. And rather than, you know, point a finger or go a negative route, which is, of course, fully justified um, because women have suffered for centuries, we know that. But what I wanted to do was really try to find a way to elevate women, and especially the women that are really forefront leaders, um, making this just amazing change happen in their communities. So what we do with that project is we take our honorees, our female honorees' words, and we compose songs, we commission female identifying composers to compose songs uh, that really carry forth their messages. And in this way, we hope to think and celebrate these remarkable female leaders and, and hopefully give them a musical tool that will help to amplify what the, they are trying to do through their work. Duende, of course, is quite different. Duende was very much an inner journey for me. Um, rather than this sort of social movement, I, I tried to go inside and ask myself, what does one day mean to me? This was kind of a mysterious word um, that I first learned about through a Carmen production, which Federico Garcia Lorca, the famous Spanish poet, introduced as the thing that we all feel but no philosopher can explain. And it really has to do with a, a, a sensation of authenticity in our gut. Maybe in English we could say soul. And so for me, this was really about going very, very inward and exploring my own soul, my own fears, my own joys, um, my own relationship with death, let's say. And in that way, it really was a, a very introverted journey for the last couple of years. So how long did it take to produce Duende? I started working on this, um, well, really, I started to explore the concept for about 10 years, believe it or not, a whole decade, I, which I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, I learned about the word in a Carmen production I was doing in Belgium, singing the title role with a wonderful Spanish director, Emilio Sachi, who would say to me, necesita más duende, which, you know, give it more duende. And, and I thought, well, I speak Spanish, but I don't know this word. Um, once I Googled, of course, and, and learned about it, it took me on a journey um, really discovering the work of Federico Garcia Lorca and so much Spanish flamenco tradition. But I really dove into the folk songs and the music um, for this album for the last two years, uh, since the summer of 2018. So, um, it, you know, we were very, very fortunate to give the first um, debut presentation in San Jose in uh, June of 19. And I learned a lot from that and decided I really wanted to expand it into a, a longer show um, and, and added music and added other elements to it, which now um, have sort of coalesced into this album, um, which is about a 50 minute journey um, of, the emotional complexities of being a woman. So I am really, really excited to share it. I remember you walking uh, through the audience, you know, just like literally feeling the music, the sound. So do, what do you feel uh, uh, when you are on the stage, uh, of course, performing Duende? Well, I'll be real honest with you. That performance has stayed very much in my heart and in my mind um, because it was such a gift to be able to explore that with this amazing audience and the people of San Jose. Um, I'll never forget how open you were to my coming into your space um, in so many ways. Uh, someone who's coming from the outside of the community, but also coming in through the audience. 
Um, and I think that that really is the leap of faith that we artists try to take with our audiences is to develop a sort of bond in a short period of time and go on this journey. Um, I, I hope to expand that. And I've not had the chance yet because of, of course, COVID and, and so many of the limitations. But um, what I took away from that performance was really the power of going through an emotional journey together. Um, and I think it's very relevant right now in a time where unfortunately so much of the world and of course of our own country is is somewhat divided. And I've, we could talk about that for a long time, but I'm not really interested in talking about that. I'm much more interested in talking about what do we have in common? And to me, our commonalities really lie the most strongly aligned in our sharing of this human experience and what it means to be human and feeling these emotions. So what I think that the arts allow us is a space to explore that. And when I was, you know, walking in the aisles, I could, I could feel and I could look into people's eyes and, and really connect in a way that left a very strong impression for me. And, you know, I, I can't speak to the audience, but I know that it, it had a great impact on me and how I, tried to create and curate the rest of the project. Well, I want now, I also want to take this opportunity to apologize to you because um, we taped the show Duendi and we are in the process of building our server and we lost the footage, which is a tragedy for me. And it was, I, I know it was really hard for you too, but believe me, it was really hard for me um, because first of all, I, I really, uh, I admire your work and I loved who you are and it was really bad for me to to lose that footage uh, and I'm just I'm sorry again so kind to say that but um, I want you to know it, it touches my heart that you feel how you feel um, and I truly feel that this all happened exactly as it should have happened because I was able to rely on my sensation memories rather than on a technology or an external tool and really kind of recreate it based on how I felt. And that was what guided me through. And so please, the last thing I want you to feel is, is badly about it. I so appreciate your support of my work and of the arts in general and the gift of getting to speak with you today. And I think in many ways, what we've come to now is thanks to that. Absolutely, thank you so much. Thank you for saying that. Um, so I know with COVID, a lot of performers are not performing. Um, how are you dealing with that? How you, you know, make music? How are you performing? Are you doing virtual concerts? Ultimately, all of us want at the top of the list to preserve the health and the safety of our fellow humans. That's, you know, paramount and as exactly as it should be. I do feel that there's a special place for the arts right now because aside from just serving as entertainment, I hope very much that we can remember our own humanity and again, what we have in common at a time when it's so deeply needed. Um, and I, I myself am trying to figure out how to do that. And certainly I think, you know, the reality is we have all of the technology we need to do that. Um, I, you know, was fortunate to have a, a film crew with me today in my home, everybody taking COVID precautions. Um, I hope to do more virtual performances. In fact, I'm in the process of working on the virtual concept of Duende, which even in, in the case of an album, I can now share my music with as many people as are willing to listen, as opposed to just those who can fit into a concert hall. So in a way, it's um, catapulting us as artists to incorporate the technology, which I don't think all of us had been doing, particularly in, in opera and in classical art forms, and to start to incorporate it and utilize it in all of the benefits it allows us. So I'm actually quite excited about that. It has been hard not only for, for artists, but for everybody else, as you mentioned. Um, I want to go back on Duende again because it's still vivid in my memory from that concert last, I believe it was last year, uh, in San Jose, um, which Carrie Adams brought you to, the, to South Bay. Um, I'm not going to remember, and I apologize in advance, the name of one of the, I think he was the musical producer. 
Christopher Bada. Okay. That, that guy, he just blew my, my mind with his uh, 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 technology and your playing, uh, performing us at the same time was just like, just so, so beautiful. And I, I just like, I have to say that too. Uh, the connection between you two was amazing. He's like uh, kind of a musical brother to me. I mean, there's a magic I think that happens when two people or more can truly dive into a world of imagination free of any kind of associations and go on that journey together. And that was the greatest gift that Chris gave to me. I had no experience in that realm of singing or electronic music. And he just said, hey, it's okay. And let's do this together. And um, I, I have to say, you know, this kind of speaks to the power again of the arts because it's, it's so fundamental as human beings that we use our imagination. When we're kids, we're used to that. You know, we play games and we imagine one person doing one thing and the other. Um, we sing songs and we live in a sphere where our imagination is much more part of our daily life. I think, again, it's so important now that we remind ourselves of that because we need to imagine a better future. We need to incorporate that imagination to have a goal to work toward. And Chris is, to me, just pure imagination. Like, nothing is off limits, no sound or electronic or anything. I could really go to him with some crazy story and he would go, okay, let's, let's, let's make that come to life. So that's a, a really special thing. Carla, tell me about the, the video, the, the viewers, our viewers are watching right now. It's the single for Duende album called Zorongo. Well, this is sort of the first song that I connected with on this journey. Zorongo is a song that, as I understand it, is a traditional and illusion dance. And of course, Federico Garcia Lorca did the lyrics for the song, which are very impassioned. So it's a, a very vibrant song, very colorful. Um, and it's still normally performed uh, to this day in flamenco tradition. Uh, I had performed it quite a bit as a classical singer on recital programs, sometimes as an encore. Um, but in this case, we really wanted to explore it uh, as, you know, kind of an electronic music experimental track. And since it was the first single, we wanted to do a video that goes with it with sort of this idea of exploring feminine sexuality. Uh, what does it mean to be in love when you're a woman? What does it mean to be rechazada or, you know, um, refused as a woman also is that's kind of the character that's described in the song and just all of the, the feelings, those heightened emotions that go on. Um, and I, I identified a lot with that as a Latina. So it was just a song I really wanted to dive into. Where can people find your new album, Duende? Well, it's available on all channels. If you go to my website, carlacanales.com, you'll find the channels. Also Spotify, Carla Canales there, uh, Duende, uh, my Instagram, Carla Canales Music. Um, so any, any way you Google me in, it should come up. Carla, I wanted to thank you so much uh, for your time, for your talent. I really hope to see you very, very soon performing um, either in the Bay Area or New York. I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm hungry to see a performance and I hope to see your performance very soon. Thank you. That means so much to me. Thank you so, so much. And what you're doing for me and for the artistic community, it keeps us alive right now in this very, very tough time. So um, I will share that love with my colleagues and I hope that You'll enjoy the music online and the video that we've prepared. And I definitely hope to see you really soon for performance out there. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions uh, for us, our email is tips at newsupnow.org, tips at newsupnow.org. Uh, all the links for Carla Canales, it's right here at the bottom of your screen. Um, I hope to see you next time over there at your home. Be safe and be kind. Thank you, bye-bye.